Hello, Fennis Boris here, and today it's time for my top 5 formations and tactics so far in FIFA 22, and this is not in any specific order, and still of course as well, very early stage, it's hard to say which is going to be top 5 at the end of this game when we have uh, all the patches coming etc, but these 5 so far are really amazing. First out with a 3-4-1-2, which this year is fantastic, and you can also of course use a 3-5-2 as well with 2 CDMs if you want a bit more defensive stability. But this one is so good because you get the whiff and also as well there's a dangerous triangle up front the four counter attacks and this one requires wingers that can defend that has at least i think 55 defending so you should maybe as well start out with the five at the back to get the fullbacks playing here or maybe some wingers that have good defending like let's say saka or golsons are perfect for this formation because these guys will defend as well and that is the key to make this one work. And tactics here, you can of course use anything that is uh, perfect for you, but I will give you some uh, recommendation of what I think is quite good uh, for this formation. And I think this one, since it is a three at the back, a bit more width, and also a bit uh, less depth, otherwise you might get a bit countered with having only three at the back. I think this is good. Balance is always good as well. But again, you can use anything that uh, fits you. This is just a recommendation. And then build up play balance I think is perfect and then chance creation for this one I found the best one for me was to use possession style to keep the ball, use the wings and then play it back and find this tree up front and then with 50 is good and then you can put this on 2 and players in box around 5 is perfect. And then the key here, strikers get in behind and they can stay forward to create again and there's a triangle up front that always stays forward. And it's gonna be very dangerous for counter attacks and then CDMs we have here or sentiments stay back for both and cover center to add balance and stability to this midfield and then wingers here just one thing and that is to here make them a bit more active in the gameplay get into the box for crosses for both use your symmetry same for both sides and then just uh, set the backs on default uh, the less the better less is more keep it simple this one is gonna work out uh, perfectly fine so with uh, 3 4 one to end game let's see how it uh, plays out and the key is to have uh, wingers that can defend as well because you will defend pretty much with the fire at the back you can see that these wingers are really helping out in defense and you can also put as well come back on defense for the wingers to give even more support on the instructions if you feel that uh, they are not helping out enough but they will still low support in defense and always three people staying forward just like with the diamond as well you're gonna get these chances, and that is a very good goal. But the 3 4 1 2 doesn't only offer contacts, but also, as well, this whiff, which is uh, the main strength. You can also keep the ball so easily with these fullbacks acting also in a very nice way, attacking wise. You're gonna get them in some great positions. You can see that we have uh, both wingers slash uh, fullbacks standing high up, asking for the ball here with possession chance creation, and then from here, you can always find this uh, pass into strikers. And you can see that uh, this one is gonna work out very nicely, a very clean attack. And then we go narrow, Christmas tree, 4 3 2 one And the key with this one is to have wingers here that have a very good finesse shots. A left footed on the right side and a right footed on the left side for these uh, four post finesse shots which are really meta in this game. So that's gonna be perfect for this formation because they're gonna stand in perfect positions all the time for these very dangerous finesse shots. And these guys, sentiment should be box to box, and sentiment here, central one, should be a true anchor that's gonna stay back. And also for this one, fullbacks it should be good on the ball because they're gonna offer this width. They're gonna go forward. Otherwise, this one is gonna be simply too narrow. And then custom tactics for this one, I just use your balance with the 45 width, a bit more narrow, and then a bit more depth, a bit more aggressive to win the ball back a bit quicker and try to find this tree up front. And then for offense, I think uh, this build up play on balance is always going to be good. And then chance creation for this one, I found the best one actually so far for me is forward runs. You get so many dangerous runs all the time and you get so much motion, that's going to be very hard to stop. And then with this whiff and players in box, you can of course try out some different things. But keeping these values around the middle is always going to be a safe choice. And then instructions, we have here striker getting behind. And these guys on the wings, they're gonna hear is stay central and get in behind as well. And this is for them to really stay central and get this ball in the dangerous position for this four post flash shot. Use your same for both sides like this. And then you can use here some different um, variations, but I prefer here to just have uh, this central sentiment to stay back and cover center. And the rest actually I found really good on just balanced. You don't have to mix anything and try out the uh, joint attack. 
But if you find this uh, too attacking, you can have one of these guys staying back if you feel that you are conceding too many counterattacks. Alright, let's see now how this one works out in the game. You're gonna see here that the key is uh, the left and right forward. That's why you should have here a left footed on the right side and vice versa because they stand here very often unmarked in a very dangerous position. And we all know how dangerous these shots are. The long distance finesse shot is amazing. And with this formation, 4 3 2 1, you can score so many goals using uh, this simple trick. Finding here this guy. We have here Ilicic, great finishing. And that is a simple goal. And then as well for counter-attacks, it is amazing, you always have three players staying forward and also as well a very often a sentiment, the joining as well, ends on fullbacks and you get so many dangerous runs, especially with forward runs on the chance creation and you can see that it is hard to stop, this time though blocked by Akia. But it's not only narrow, we also want the width, otherwise you will get stuck very easily. That's why we have here the fullbacks on balance, you have so much space here, it's gonna be completely open. And then as well, you're gonna have uh, many players staying central. But the downside with this one, of course, is that it is easy to get countered. Only two players staying back pretty much. Maybe sometimes with some help from the center mid. But that's why sometimes as well, you could use uh, one fullback staying back to get a bit more support. But you see here again, the fullback going forward. We have so many options centrally. And this one is here really hard to stop. And we find in the end, one center mid completely open. And that is a good finish. Time for one more narrow. We have the 4 1 2 1 2, the narrow one, the second variation. This one is great as well this year. And same as with the 4 3 2 1, we're gonna have these fullbacks going forward to offer with. And then CDM, of course, should be a true anchor, something like uh, Sakari, uh, Sisoko, Orkanti, and then box to box the sentiments. And also here for this one, Cam should be technical and also have good passing here. Good passing for the Cam is a key. And then custom tactics for this one, you can use the same as you're using for the 4 3 2 1. They work in a very similar way. I think these ones work just fine with forward runs as well. Playing narrow, you're gonna get again some sick motion. Instructions for this one, we have strikers get in behind. I prefer that always. And then for this Cam, just stay forward to get the counter attacks. It's gonna be deadly, always having three people staying forward. And then for this uh, CDM, uh, stay back is a very good choice and also as well, if you feel that uh, he's uh, covering too much of the wing, if he's drifting too much wide, you can use as well your cover center, but I think default is fine as well. And then the rest, simple is the best, less is more, the rest on default, and you're gonna get the perfect motion, because the AI for every year is getting better, and it can decide itself what is the best option. I think overall it is better to just to play with the less instructions because if you start to play bad and you have 100 instructions, it's gonna be hard to find the problem. Diamond in the game works like a charm. We have here, as always, just as with the 4 3 2 the width offered by the fullbacks. We don't have options centrally, you can always use these guys here left and right. And still you're gonna have plenty of players staying centrally. And that's gonna be hard for the opponent to track all these runs. And then you can always go back, of course, to one of the sentiments. This time not the best to finish, but still a good example. And then, the most dangerous thing is these counterattacks. This triangle staying forward, and you can just go here for a scholarly pass as I call it. The L1 double triangle, improved low pass like this, it is super dangerous. And you see that uh, it is this time easy goal for the insect insignia. And again, same thing, we're gonna steal the ball, and so many runs going forward. Hard to track, hard to stop. This time though not the best finish. You're gonna see here once again, gotta win this ball back, and then we find here one midfielder, and then quickly up, we have here plenty of runs, and this time we find Insigne again, and you see here this support, we have uh, four players just running forward, we can pass the ball, we can finish, and this time we go for this sweat, and there's a safe choice, the diamond is amazing. And then we have the extremely compact uh, 4 triple two, which is uh, so good defensively, and always as well options up front, with players uh, staying close with the close distance and also these cams offers a great connection between midfield and strikers. And this one I found the best uh, with possession to just all the time uh, keep the ball and tire the opponent out, uh, make him uh, impatient and then find this pass into the box. You can use this in the exact same way with the 40 to 1, almost identical. Only difference is that you have uh, one cam more instead of two strikers. But both 4 triple 2 and 40 to 1 is always gonna be great. Instructions, uh, strikers get in behind and then again for these cams to make them a bit more active, to make them uh, cut in a bit more, we use this one which I think is a key instruction, get into the box, same for both, 
And then these CDMs are just gonna stay back and save up and always offer options in the bill of play to pass it back and recycle just like this. And for this one we're using here stay back on the fullbacks. But if you feel that you're not creating enough chances, you can always activate in-game attacking fullbacks with the D-pad tactics to get a bit more motion and to make these fullbacks just dart forward. But this, I think, is a good and safe starter. And we can see some in-game examples how this one works out in the game for triple two and how we always have options to pass. It is really compact and these guys on the wing with getting the box for crosses and also as well with possession chance creation are gonna cut in and offer so many options here for quick passing and it's gonna be hard for the opponent to defend these four players up front and you can try to score and try to beat these superman keepers in this game and as well in defense always always compact hard to beat with these cdms cutting up passing lanes staying central and also as well with the wingers helping out here it is going to be of course very hard to beat and again we're going to steal the ball here with the sensi and you can see again how we get these wingers cutting in here just like this and we find the quick passing I can see here that uh, always options, uh, close distance, and just go tiki taka, quick passing, and you can score some truly beautiful goals. This is a real pearl. Amazing stuff. Good job, lads. And last out with a 4 4 2, made famous by Anders Vergang. This one is great this year again, but with the right tactics, which we're gonna go into very soon. And here you should have one sentiment that is a bit better in the defense, and one that should go forward that has a really good finishing and dribbling. That's gonna offer support for these uh, strikers. And what makes the 4 2 so good is that it is really perfect symmetry and you have players all over the pitch. You have the width, you have the midfield, you have two center mids, and also as well, still two strikers, and always as well, these four staying back. Very stable, good for counter attacks, but also as well for possession football. And then this one, custom tactics. Uh, what really made it the click with this one for me was to have here chance creation on direct passing. I think with this one works out perfectly. You get these options uh, that you maybe are lacking with some different uh, tactic to make these strikers move a bit better and to make it a bit easier to play uh, some tiki taka as well using this uh, quite wide and spread out formation. I think this one here is the best for the 4 4 2 and then we have instructions, strikers again getting behind. And here we have one set the mid, the one that is better in the defense, stay back, cover center. And the other one that should be better attacking, on balanced, and then cover center. He's gonna go forward. And then wingers, just one thing here, that is gonna be here, getting the box for crosses. Same for both here, but you can always, of course, add something yourself if you wanna make this a bit more tailor made. But this one I think works out that great. And then, as well for the fullbacks here, just to stay back for both. To always offer options to go back and recycle if you're stuck at the wing. I think this one is the best for the fullbacks. Let's see now how this one works out. In the game 4 for 2 you always have some great width offered by these uh, wingers, always standing wide. And if you get stuck on the wing, if you cannot find options, you can always go back to a fullback. And then back again to a center mid. And from here, either find the strikers or go for a shot yourself. This time, great stuff from Milinko Visavic. But since you have center mids and not CDMs, sometimes the gap between defense and midfield is going to be quite big. So you have to defend a bit more manually with the center backs to close down this gap. And if you feel that this gap is too big, you can also try out the 4 4 2 holding with two CDMs instead. But then it's going to be a bigger gap between defense and midfield. So I think the 4 4 2 is even better if you can master the one on one defending with center backs. But when you nail it, it's going to be, of course, very dominant. Maybe just like Anders Vergang, if you practice very hard. And then as well, in attack, always options. You have fullbacks, you have wingers, you have the whiff. And also as well, this one center mid in a bit more attacking role that's gonna help out to connect simply midfield and attack, just like this. A very nice example. All right, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and found at least one of these tactics helpful. And if you did so, make sure to drop a like. We have more stuff coming. Thanks so much for watching. As always, you know, until next time, take care.